The Great Search brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit. Thank you. DigiKey, every single week leader uses power of engineering to find things that are needed for dinosaurs. For anything. And I think this is a good example of uh, being able to find um, this retro toy. It's retro. And uh, you're going to need to buy some stuff. And you're going to need to search for some things. And you might not be familiar with it. So to DigiKey, we go. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to rebuild this play -o. Um, Can you show what it looks like without the green screen? Just so people. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah, you got the image. Okay. So it's green. That's why it's it's showing up black. Yeah. Um, so this is uh, the Pleo toy from 2006, and it needs a battery pack, which we just investigated. Um, so on the overhead, this is the battery pack. It's constructed of six AA batteries. Three of them, uh, sorry, they're all in series because um, the battery pack output is um, 7.2 volts nominal, 2.2 uh, amp hour, which, you know, it's not too bad, actually. These are, like, fairly good quality AA batteries. If you look at, like, you know, my, my Enna loops, um, these are 1900, and these are pretty recent. Let me look at my Amazon basic ones because these are, these, I just bought them. The... Are, I think 2000 milliamp. Yeah, so these are these are 2000 milliamp hour. So this is actually like these are you know they and this was in 2006. So these are like you know particularly nice batteries. These batteries are um, higher capacity. And, and I mentioned just in the um, desk of Lydia that we might reconstruct this with a lithium ion pack to get you know double the capacity and um, faster rechargeability. But to start. I just want to rebuild this. So this battery is um, totally, totally dead. Um, you know, measuring the voltage on this is like one, one volt, two and a half volts. So, and if you look inside, it's kind of tough to see, but there is, um, there is the the white dust of uh, you know uh, oxidation. Um, the battery sitting uncharged, unused for so long. Um, you have a limited number of charges anyway, so you just charge a couple hundred times. So let's find batteries. And the thing is, we can't just use, um, I would love to be able to just like pop in your standard um, AA batteries. That would be great. Also, because then you could charge the battery separately and then you could like reassemble the pack. There's some guides too where people, there's an instructables, but it just, uh, you know, we're going to probably uh, supervise our kid with this. So we're probably not going to do that. What? There's a guide on instructables on using um, double A's. Oh, just while I double A's. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, there's a lot of options. You can do a lot of things. But then you know, they think maybe you should. They pop out easy. Yeah, well, I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll take a look, right? You never know. Maybe this would be a good good project. Um, but then you know you could have more than one double pack. One nice thing about this pack, I'll say that's you know blessed, is there's an uh, NTC thermistor, but there's no like one wire smart authentication chips. <laughs> um, right? Like, that didn't exist at the time where, like, you know, you can't use it, like, my PSP, whatever. That's like. what's killed off the dinosaurs. Yeah, it's like it was an illegal battery pack. So, um, let's find some tab batteries, and DigiKey definitely has these. Let's go to the computer. Um, okay, so we're going to look for nickel metal hydride AAs, and then we will find the ones that are packed. So, um, Let's start with the individuals because I, I kind of did look at this. So we want active double A's apply. And then one thing, you know, we mentioned we do, you know, for, for this robot, you need to have very good capacity. So let's, it has to be at least two amps of capacity. And second, you'll notice a lot of these, like you can get really good 2.5 amp hour batteries. Ooh, these are great. Uh, Panasonic, Duracell, Edmonderizer, but the problem is that they're button top. They're not, um, they're not tabbed. Well, this one's tabbed, which is kind of a one, one off, one off tab, but most of them are not, most of them are just button. So we want to get tabbed once. Let's see what's available. So this is, this is actually just a random one. This is not actually... Yes, it's 2.8 amp hour, but like I said, it's not um, it's not tabbed. So this is the only one available. So this one has tabs and you can, um, you know, these are spot welded on, but uh, 
and watch out because sometimes you need flat top, but I think most of the time it's okay to have the button top. You can solder to these, you just bend them out of the way. You just have to use like a really good iron and you act really fast, but you can, you can build any pack you want with these. But you'll see they're much more expensive than just, you know, if like for, you know, they're basically five, five bucks a piece, six bucks a piece. Um, whereas a, um, these batteries, you know, from PK cell, uh, you get four. They're like half the price, basically. They're, they're, they're 250 a piece, not $5 a piece. So um, that's the thing with the tab because not a lot of people need tabs. So if you're gonna DIY, you know, make them, you get six of these and that's an option. Let's look at what we've got for packs. Um, so one thing to note is for the pack, can you get the overhead again? And this is non-standard. A lot of packs, the positive and negative are here. So this is like the positive and this would be the matching negative. And then, you know, when you measure across this, that would give you the full voltage, but that's actually not what's going on with this one. Because if you look here, the positive and negative are all on kitty corners. And so if you're gonna get a full pack that's two by six, sorry, two by three, um, a lot of them have these two be the positive and negative, not these two. And then you're you're not gonna have the right charging setup. So if we go back uh, to the computer, battery packs. So let's look for active double A's and either three or six, because like we're either gonna solder in three or, or like use the six pack. We've already decided we need over two amps. And you saw there's the front to top to back, you know, whatever. You just have to like look um, for which one. So, you know, you can get these and you just have to, um, like these are top style. So you don't want this. So this would be okay. These ones are not because they're the long style. This one would also be okay. What's the difference between these two? Let's compare. Can we compare? I don't know if that worked. Okay. What's the difference? These look very really similar. 355, 18. Oh, you know what? I bet this is 27. 18 probably means 18. 100 milliamp hour. Let's look what the data sheet says. Yeah, this is 1800 and this is 2700. So these are actually like really good, good batteries. They actually made them with nice battery packs, but they're going to be a lot more expensive. Again, they're, they're like five bucks a piece. So that's a good option. Let me shrink this a little bit. Um, okay. Don't want this one. So it doesn't look like they have the six pack in the cube shape. <laughs> Those are the answers to get these. This will actually be a really nice upgrade because like I said, they're 2,700 milliamp hours. So you're going to get like 25% more capability. These are, um, it's in the marketplace. So these are probably like soldered to order. Uh, so you'll need two of them, 35 bucks and you have to pay $10 shipping. It's the price of dealing with the kind of a, archaic technology and then um i showed these in the part what's interesting is if you buy the individual batteries it's actually a little bit more expensive so you're actually better off buying this two three pack and you solder you do the one solder point and then the thermistor you can just recycle uh so we'll probably do that next week so i'm gonna yeah maybe... this is gonna be a two-parter two yeah okay and that's that's the one i picked so this one 2700 nice update You'll just need two of them. You'll rip the plastic off and then you'll solder the, the two tabs. You can see the, the tabs on the corner here. Mm -hmm. And then you just you just solder a little flat wire or you just like bend it and solder it. And then you make that's how you make your six pack. All right. Okay, thanks everybody. That's a great church. Where in the world is